Welcome. <laughs> I'm making a YouTube video today. I am not a YouTuber, but I thought that I would share with you guys what I do for skincare. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I use. When I wake up in the morning, I always wash my face and most of the time I'm really lazy to like actually wash my face with water. So what I love to do is I just use the simple um, micellar water. So basically it's a cleansing water. It takes off all of the oils that you get from sleeping and sweating and getting hot at night because I always get so, wake up so hot. So I take this stuff on a little cotton round and then I just like wipe my face and that's all I do for morning. And then after that, I will go in with my toner. I just use witch hazel. This brand is Dickinson's, but really any witch hazel works. So after I use my micellar, I do this. Same thing on these little cotton rounds. I like cotton rounds better than um, cotton balls because cotton balls like tend to like leave a ton of little cotton things on your skin. And then after that, I'll go in with my moisturizer. Right now, I've been using the CeraVe, um, what's it called? CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. So this is just a drugstore, oh, I should say where you can get this stuff. So these, all these are drugstore so far. So um, you can get them at like Target or Walgreens. It says fragrance free, lightweight, non-irritating. So that's what it is. It's just like a basic face lotion. If you have super dry skin, you might not like this, but I have combination skin. So I love this stuff. So I'll do this or another really good one that I've used forever is um, the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer. And I know with this one, they have like a dry skin formula if people have dry skin. But I have combinations, so I get this one. So I use one of those two for moisturizers during the day. And then a third moisturizer that I might occasionally use is the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. So I'll use this one like if I'm feeling really oily or if like it's a really hot day in Arizona because I live in Arizona. And then, oh, I forgot this step, but before I, I feel like I need to start over because I completely messed up the order of everything. But, okay, this. This is called the Nurse Jamie um, Facial Roller. So before I put my face lotion on, um, I will basically um, roll out my face. It, this gets like really cold and it just feels so good in the morning and like depuffs your under eyes, um, depuffs your face. Also, you can use it on your double chin. <laughs> and honestly, people make fun of me for using this, but I swear it works and I really love it. So I'm gonna keep using it. I'll do this, like I said, after I cleanse my face and then I'll do my face lotion. And also, <laughs> Occasionally, before I put my face lotion on, I'll use um, different serums and stuff. This is one that I really love. If you can see it. It's called the Brighten and Tighten Vitamin C Serum. And it also has ascorbic acid and vitamin A and E. So basically what this does is improves your skin's texture and then creates like super glowy, like gorgeous, luminous skin so and I really have seen a difference in this one so I really love it it's by Dr. K love Dr. K you can order it on her website www.nosedoc.net is where you can get this stuff and it's amazing so I'll put that on before I put my face lotion on like not every day but some days um sorry I'm out of order like I said I'm not a youtuber I'm including facial mists in my skincare routine just because I don't feel like it's a makeup product I feel like it's a skincare product um, so I'm gonna include those 
but going back I also I'm so bad at this I should have did a list of the order but also I also use this stuff which it's called the total eye system it's basically by the brand um, what's it bliss bliss is the brand um you can get this at sephora or bliss.com so this is a eye cream there's an upper lid side and then there's a lower lid side under under eye side so um basically you just like gently pat that in in the mornings so your under eyes aren't so puffy because I have super dark circles so love doing that and then back to these guys so these are the two facial mists that I love to use um, one is the Too Faced Hangover RX 3 in 1 one is the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray so okay this one I'll use if I want like a super glowy hydrated mist and it honestly makes your, I have so many mists, and this is the one that I just keep going back to. You can get this at Sephora, and it seriously makes your skin look so glowy and gorgeous. And then this one is like, if I'm feeling super oily, if it's a hot day, I'll use this one. It just like mattifies everything and like prevents the oil from like coming through your makeup. Or if you're not wearing makeup, it'll just like mattify your face. Um, so those are the facial mists I use. Okay, and then on to nighttime skincare. First at night, I will cleanse my skin. If I'm wearing a ton of makeup, I will go in with my micellar water again, this stuff, on a cotton round, and I'll just like try to get the majority of my makeup off. This works really well to take off your eye makeup. And I just love it so much because it's not oily. It's like a cleansing water. So this is amazing. So if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I'll do that. And then if not, I'll just go straight in with my cleanser. And right now I'm almost out of it, but I'm using the Glossier cleanser, milk jelly cleanser. And I love the consistency of it. It's like, let me see if I can show you guys. I don't wanna like waste it, but it's like, super jelly and it's just like hydrating I really like it so this is what I use to cleanse my skin sometimes with my Glossier um, cleanser I will go in with my little Ferreo which is basically like I don't know if you can hear it but it's like a vibrating um, facial like cleansing tool and it just has like these tiny little rivets or sponge like things and it just like cleanses your face really deeply so it's kind of like a clarisonic but this is um more hygienic than a clarisonic because it's just rubber you can easily clean it you don't have to worry about the bristles of your clarisonic brush getting um bacteria and stuff like that in it so that's why i decided to get the ferreo over that i'll put some of my glossier cleansing um cleanser on that and then just kind of scrub my face with this then I'll rinse my face and then this is like every night I don't I heard that you're not supposed to exfoliate every night but every night I use my St. Ives blemish control apricot scrub and I have used this for probably five years and I will continue to use this because I think that it's seriously it just makes my skin amazing. I just love this and it's super cheap. You can get it from the drugstore. I just started using this, not gonna lie, I don't really know if it does anything, but I bought it and it's actually super cheap and I'm gonna keep using it until I run out because I'm not gonna waste it. It's called the, okay, is it focusing? It's called the Asterwood Hyaluronic Acid. And basically hyaluronic acid, um, is super super hydrating it it holds up to like a crazy amount of moisture in it so basically it's just super moisturizing which is why I love using it, it at night um, I'll put that on let it sink in a little bit and then go in with a facial night cream so right now I have been using the Bosha 
Restorative Night Moisture Cream. It looks like this. And honestly, it's really nice because it has like the top squirts the perfect amount for you. And then it's just in there. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just started using this too and I love it. It's just super thick and like hydrating, which is what I like for nighttime because I want my skin to wake up like supple and just super hydrated. So that's like my morning and night, like pretty much daily skincare routine. But I'm gonna show you a few things like I that I do or tricks that I do if I'm breaking out or if my skin's like super dry. So of course I have to share this. I'm sure you have heard about Mario Badescu because they make a really famous um, facial spray, the, the rose water spray. Um, I don't love that because honestly the sprayer isn't fine enough and it'll just leave like splashes on your face which I, I just don't like. Um, I think this one is much better. So I would get that instead of the rose water. But the rose water one is cheap so if you want something super cheap, get the rose water one. I do love the Mario Badescu drying lotion. So basically what you do with this is you dip a Q-tip in all the way to the bottom, take it out, and then you can dot it on breakout spots that you have. I will put this on overnight. So I'll dip a Q-tip in, take it out, dip it on a pip, pip, really bad pimple I have, wake up, and then most of the time my pimples like dried out or like it's came to the surface. So it's like ready to kind of like pop. I know you're not supposed to pick your face, but if a pimple is like white on the top, I feel like it's okay to just pop it um, super gently, but I know no one, everyone says, don't pick your face, don't pick your face. Um, I do, so yeah. But yeah, this stuff is really good for um, pimples. If you don't wanna buy this, another trick is to use toothpaste. It can't be the whitening toothpaste. What really works is like the old fashioned, like blue, like Colgate or Crest blue toothpaste. That works so good on pimp on drying pimples out. So if you don't wanna buy that, that's another trick. Just put a little bit of that on your breakouts and then sleep with that and they'll be like dried out by the morning. Okay, so next thing I do occasionally is face masks. I have a couple face masks, but this is one that I really do like. It's the Firming Overnight Mask, and it's by Fresh. This is how it looks. It smells so good. It just smells so clean. So basically this is an over, overnight moisturizing mask, and it's for firming but it also just hydrates and pumps up your skin and when you wake up in the morning, your skin will look so glowy and just great. So I recommend this. And then the last thing I have to share with you guys is for um, blackheads. So I occasionally get really bad blackheads on my nose or like open pores around my nose, like here and here, my chin a little, my forehead a little. This stuff works really good. The Murad, um, pore reform line. You can get this at I think Nordstrom's and Sephora. So this is step one of it. This is the blackhead remover mask. You put it on the areas that you have blackheads. So you let it sit for a while and then you get warm water and kind of scrub your face a little and it just has like little beads in it and then just like kind of cleanses deeply in there. So then after that, you're gonna put on your pore refining sealer. And these two came like in a kit together. And this stuff like just makes your pores look flawless. Like if you have like deep pores and you put this on, honestly, you'll look amazing after. You're gonna be like super poreless. So these are two things that really do work for pores. And then after this, I would go in with my night cream because I would probably do this at night. So yeah, those are, I'm trying to look if I forgot anything, but I don't think I did. That is what I use for my skincare. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. I just thought I'd come on here and share with you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.